Hi friends, this is the reading lesson for second grade. Uh, we are going to read a story today called King Midas. You need your Tales to Live by booklets, open to page 10. You need a pencil and you need a highlighter. So today we're going to read a story called King Midas. This story is a myth. So this is a fictional story, but this one in particular has been passed down through generations in the Greek culture. So um, a myth is about typically a character that learns a lesson. And in a myth, we usually have characters such as gods or people with special powers. And that's, and you'll see how that fits in, in this story. Um, today, what we're going to do is we are actually going to highlight together but then in the end, I'm going to have you write your beginning, middle, and end story events on your own and then submit them in Canvas. So hold on to your highlighters while the read aloud is going. And after the read aloud stops, we will highlight. And then I will let you know what your next steps are. So if you are ready, we'll go ahead and get started. Short read two. Remember to annotate as you read. King Midas Long ago, there lived a king named Midas, who was the richest man in the land. The king was fond of gold and loved it more than anything, except his daughter, Marigold. One day, as King Midas counted his coins, a stranger appeared. If I could grant you one wish, what would it be? he asked. I'd wish that everything I touched turned to gold, King Midas replied. All right, so let's stop there. We learned a lot in just these first few paragraphs. So we know that this story is happening long ago. Always good to highlight that setting part of the story. And there was a king named Midas, who was the richest man in the land. And he was very fond of gold, which means he loved it. And he loved it more than anything except for his daughter, Mary Gold. Isn't that sweet? All right. So then one day a stranger comes, kind of like a genie, and says, if I could grant you one wish, what would it be? So let's highlight that. And of course, King Midas, who loves gold so, so much, says, I wish everything I touched would turn into gold. What do you think, boys and girls? Sound good? Would you want everything you touched turn into gold? Be pretty neat. All right, let's keep going. Your wish is granted, exclaimed the stranger. When you awake tomorrow, you'll have that power. The next morning, the king awoke earlier than usual. He walked around the palace, touching every object. He was delighted and thrilled when everything he touched became gold. All right, so we're going to continue reading, but let's highlight on this page before we turn the page. So his grant, his wish is granted, and when he wakes up, he'll have the power to turn everything into gold. So the next morning he wakes up and he walks around touching everything. And what happens? When everything he touched became gold. Oh my gosh, he was so excited, right? I'd be pretty excited too, wouldn't you? All right, let's keep going. However, when he stopped to take a sip of water, the glass of water turned to gold. 
Then Marigold ran to him, but when he embraced her with a kiss, she became a golden statue. What have I done? the king cried, and he wept with grief and sorrow. All right, here is where King Midas runs into trouble. He tries to take a drink of water, and the glass of water turns to gold. And then Marigold, remember, he loves Marigold more than he loves gold. She ran to him, and he tried to give her a kiss. But she became a golden statue. Oh, no. Now he's so sad. He's weeping. He's crying. Do you think he still likes his wish? I don't think so. Let's see what happens. Suddenly, the stranger appeared before him. You look like the saddest man in the land, said the stranger. I've lost everything I care about, sobbed the king. <coughs> Fill this pitcher with water from the lake, instructed the stranger. Then sprinkle it on everything you've turned into gold. King Midas followed his instructions. When everything returned to normal, the king was the happiest man ever. Phew. The stranger saved him, right? So the stranger comes back. And it says, you look like the saddest man in the land. And King Midas says, but I've lost everything I've ever cared about. So the stranger tells him what to do. He says, fill this pitcher with water from the lake, then sprinkle it on everything you've turned into gold. So King Midas follows his instructions, and then everything goes back to normal. Phew! Thank goodness. All right, that's a cute little Greek um, story. And you will also see that story again in more detail in third grade. Um, but let's talk about what you're going to do next. So you are going to write a beginning, a middle, and an end. Now, there is not very much room on this page to write your beginning. So I'm going to have you write your beginning on page 11. So here is what I want you to do. I want you to write, whoops, beginning. And we'll put one dash three. That means you're gonna, it's paragraphs one, two, and three. You're gonna tell me what is happening in the beginning. What did we learn about King Midas? So you're gonna write that one right there. Then, on page 12, you're going to write the middle. So what is happening in the middle? That's paragraphs 4 through 7. So paragraphs 4, 5, 6, and 7. King Midas, remember, he's super excited and happy, and then he can't drink anything, and he can't even give his daughter a kiss. So you're going to tell me that in a sentence or two right here. And finally, you're going to write what happens in the end. So that's paragraphs 8 through 12. You're going to tell me what happens. We know the stranger comes back. King Midas follows the instructions and things get back to the way they are. And now he is so much happier. All right, so you're going to write one sentence for each of these on your own. Look back in the paragraphs to help you. This is where the information is coming from. You're not copying. You're not telling me the whole story. If I were to only read your beginning, 
your middle, and your end, I would have a pretty good idea of what happens in this story. If you need some help, if you're really, really stuck, log on to Zoom and I will help you. All right, so submit beginning, middle, and end on Canvas. Remember, you can read them or you can re you can type them and copy what you wrote. All right, friends, great job. We'll see you later.